We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we continue with Songs of Conquest. I have a horribly bad headache, so this will be fun. Um, all right. Uh, what were you doing? You were definitely doing something critically important that we all remember. Yep, everybody knows exactly what you were doing. Uh, totally. All right, where where is? All right, you're there. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. And, and she's in there. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, no, that's, that's cool. I guess we do it that way. Okay, we can upgrade our boys, but, but only a few of our boys. We couldn't upgrade these guys because of reasons. Those are the rangers. These are the archers. The rangers are clearly the worst version. I feel like that's backwards, right? Shouldn't the rangers be the fancier variant? Uh, maybe, maybe I'm crazy. I mean, I'm definitely crazy, but I don't think I'm wrong in this case. That's fine. Uh, okay, so we're going to have him go and do things, probably. That does sound like something that we would do. Now, what those things are specifically, I'm not really 100% certain. We got stuff up here we can do... Probably? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll send him through the the tunnel of California dreams and uh, see what's on the other side. I, I think just scary, scary things probably, probably on the other side of it. I mean, it makes sense to me. Alright. I suppose you can have these guys if you really wanted them. All right, and do we need to give you anything? Do we need to give you the, the battle axe? Eh, eh, it's 11 offense. It's pretty strong. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Sorry, I know you're going to lose a little bit of your ranged power, but overall, you're going to be phenomenally, cosmically stronger. Probably not, but maybe. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah. It's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Okay, so you just kind of hang out here, probably. Seems seems good. Like a, like a okay plan. I will uh, claim some of that. I will teleportate over to this spot. Does it want me to spend money again? No. All right, it does, but I'm not going to do that. All right, we're going to go here. And we're going to draft some more sappy boys. And I know we can get more other things, but this is where we're sitting right now. I am going to go deal with this stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So what is... Oh, I can just do, like, partials on that? That's fine. There we go. Now we have two upgraded bull troops, which we'll just wait until next time to do. I am going to go check this out. Because I, I don't have any idea whether or not I did anything with that or what's going on. Nope, I didn't. Sweet. So that was just free. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, we'll head back down here. We'll go to our boy. What did we get from that? Okay, cool. Appreciate it. A little bit of cash money. A little bit of whatever that is. Celestial ore. Some more experience. Uh, and we're going to go take care of this spot up here, which will get us the ancient alchemist Ambers of Amberton land ruin. Oh, I, okay. Okay. I did it. I did it wrong again, guys and gals. You can, you can mock me. 
Remember I said, always always claim the thing first. I, I didn't do that. I thought I had a... Uh oh Power crackled around the single antler of this fey noble. Her power seemed immense. Wielder Stormspire, stop this madness. What cause have you to betray us and break the covenant between human and fey? Your words drip with the same corruption that spread in this spreads in this land. We will not stand for humans and your lies. We will not allow you to bring back the old days. If you would only see reason, we might work together to discover the source of this corruption. You must lay down your arms. If not, I will be forced to fight and defend the people of Stoutheart. Long have my kin waited patiently, peacefully, while humans snip and strip the edges of our land. But you have gone too far. I am the storm that will rid the world of human vermin. The time for war is now. Uh, we're so not going to make it. Okay. Yep, that's not, it's not great. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Well, I am surprised. It is an interesting conundrum that we are faced with here. They fear my ranged power? That doesn't really make sense. Oh. Oh, did they have the wait command? Is, did, is, that, is that a thing they did? Or what in the blue blazes was that? Seems very questionable. Uh, okay, buff you up with some shieldy bits. He's berserking. They have clouded my vision, which is mildly inconvenient. They've boiled my blood. Oh. Well, I mean. That is a thing that they did. Nice. They sure feel like they're moving a lot more than we are. the turn there. Um Yeah, I suppose. That's fine. Oh, chain lightning. Wow. The, the Fey uh, ladies got uh, more than enough oomph to take us. I actually thought we were going to lose this, like, badly. I mean, we're not, like, crushing them or anything ridiculous, but we're doing way better than I would have thought. Okay. All things considered. Oh, that does give me the range. I'm like, I don't suppose that's going to give me enough range to get to where I need to go. Apparently, yes. Got him. Okay, yeah, I really thought we were going to lose that. Uh, upgraded troops apparently uh, carry the day.
I hope we get to do more than just that. We got the Cape of Leaves. Oh, nice. I don't know that falling back was the right call either. Like, if they just charged us, I think it would have been a lot better. We only had one true frontliner out of all of that. So, eh. All right. The Spoils of War is, uh, or I guess, are the Boar Spear for boar hunting and to fend, to fend of the Horned Ones, right? Off, I guess. To fend off the Horned Ones, right? Beasts of the forest need to be treated in a seemingly manner. William Tightstream, Huntmaster of the Pine Coast Barony. It's a two-handed weapon. And the Cape of Leaves, the roots and trusted this cape to the... Trusted? Sure. To, to Arana, a protector of Gloomgrove before the Battle of Fire Pass. It makes anyone hard to spot in open ground and near invisible in the forest. So ranged resistance... It sounds like it just lowers the damage of range, but whatever. He's going to level up a lot from that. As the last of the Fey fell before the Stoutheart troops, Giandra raised her staff to the skies. At a crack of thunder, she disappeared. All right, Paradine leveled up. I'm going to go with Command. I'm going to go with Archery. Okay. It looks like we do still have more that we can do. I was I was worried that that might end our uh, adventure altogether. Because I definitely want to pull everything I can out of the map. Yeah, I, I thought for sure I was going to have to start over. I was like, man, I definitely made mistakes. Oh, that's nice. These gloves are not for the common man. Neither are they for anyone who disturbs the fey of the forest. To buy my craft, you need to be worthy of it. Henry Dunford, Master Leatherworker. Cool. We have Farsight. Nice. Oh, we going for experience. So we, we did a little bit of catching up there on uh, the old level side of life. Actually, I'm going to withdraw for a second because I want to go and finagle his troops. Okay, that's fine. And now we can go do battle. Manuel Batu. Oh, that does seem underwhelming, to be sure. Well, that's disappointing. Um... We fight or die. <laughs> There's no retreat. We just block ourselves in. It's like, oh no, what have we done? Alright, that was that was very, very easy. By comparison. We'll accept the 375. It's like, oh, there's some old bones that were apparently already visited. Not by me, mind you. There's a petrified tree of knowledge. I don't, I don't know if there's knowledge in the tree. Probably. One would expect there to be knowledge in the tree. Okay. I'm going to upgrade you. I'm going to upgrade you. And then I am going to grab nine of you. And that's all I can really do right now. I do believe I will head down. Uh, now, we haven't maxed out our girl, uh, Cecilia, Cecilia yet, so we do still need to do a little bit more. As you, as you five, oh, we got plenty, yeah. Hey, there we go. Some creation magic, uh, interact with other wielders and raise their XP to this much of your wielder's own. I mean, that's kind of cool. So it's a way of getting, like, meeting up with, like, a lower level uh, wielder and having them play catch-up. They get 25% of your level. So 
uh, it's not gonna work exactly like this, but let's just say you were like level 100, they would become level 25. I mean, it, obviously, the higher the level, the probably the more experience it takes to level up. So it wouldn't be exactly that. Um, I'm gonna do creation magic. Might as well start with a little bit of extra oomph so we can get some stuff done, I think. I don't think that's necessarily a ill-conceived plan. Okay, she gonna go through. And now we gonna go up here. We are going to draft some troopy troops. We'll draft some Scooby-Doo's. And, uh, yeah, we'll end the turn. And then we'll get some more drafting going. That seems fine, probably. Alright, grab up the wood. And I guess go here. We, we gotta tag that along the way. Meanwhile, back at Gant's Lair, I really thought we were gonna have to... Like, I was gonna get him killed. Actually, I don't think we would have had to restart. I, I would have just been at a massive disadvantage. Uh, plus three movement. Okay, well that's fine. I forgot, he can actually get dropped. It doesn't end our map, so... We would have just been in a very disadvantageous position. But, we won the fight, like which I'm still shocked by. Prepare to be shocked. Oh, good, there's more. Who are you, and why are you there? The Baron Aldous of, of Loth. Well, that's... Uh, it stinks. It's big old, it's big old stinky poo-poo. Well... That does suck. Kind of a lot. Um... I don't- I don't know what to tell you. Yep, I figured that was backwards. I was not wrong. Alright. And then I guess we're gonna go ahead down and deal with him. Which will be mildly inconvenient. I mean, I could technically put some troops in here and just waste everybody's time, and I'm going to do that. Oh, oh, he didn't try to murder me. Oh, well, that's that's lovely. I don't really understand what his, uh, his overall game plan is here. I'm going to tag this because it can give me a little bit more actual movement. I think it's it's almost or probably is worth it. All right, I'm here, sir. Uh, don't come face me. Oh, that's a that's a fair uh, fair battle. Oh, a huge army of undead march in unison behind the familiar figure of Aldus of Law. Strangely robed humans and elderly scholars traveled with these monsters, clearly untroubled by their undead comrades. Baron Aldus, what foul deed is this? Do these abominations serve you? Nay, this is a noble deed. They are but soldiers of the Empress. Long ago, they swore an oath to protect our Leon and the Aurelian Empire and serve as long as it is needed. And it is needed. You are blind. These creatures corrupt the very earth they walk upon. A temporary inconvenience. I've been assured that once the Empress Aurelia returns, the earth shall be restored. Aurelia. The Empress Aurelia? All this, this is madness. That's what I thought once. But I've seen her. She is magnificent. Imagine the baronies united. The Baria returned the fold. 
join our alliance, Cecilia Stoutheart. Take the oath and kneel with me at Aurelia's feet. Together we will eclipse the glory of days of old. No, never. No, but... You forget your history, Baron. Stouthearts never kneel. Stoutheart stands. Prepare yourself, Baron. Yeah, this might not go well. Um, guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out. I don't like that they have the high ground advantage if they take it. I mean, we could push and try to get it, but it doesn't seem like a viable option. Alright. Let's rumble, big dog. Oh, you don't poop babies like the other one did? Well, that's convenient. What is that terrifying looking thing? It's got a hundred health? Oh, that's not great. Oh yeah, this is gonna go very, very well for us. I can already tell. It's not. It's not gonna go well for us. All right. Um, the fact that that does like nothing is not a good sign. Stout heart shall stand. Uh, that is a that is a good thing that they're throwing out there. Out. Oh, he just closed the distance. Oh, God. Okay. Um... We've got we've got some some options here. I think I need to do that. I think I need to do this. I think I need to. I don't. I. Yeah. Uh, Close enough to take like more brunt damage. Okay. Who, uh, okay, it's these guys. Like, right, whose turn is it now? Looking good. Oh, that's okay. That's that's not that bad. <sighs> Destroy essence. I don't think you should be destroying my essence. That seems ungood. All right, we get to take these guys down. Now what? Um. I think I move. I know it hurts us in the grand scheme, but I think it's the play. Ooh, what's this? Uh, acid cloud. Summon an acid cloud with a hex radius of one, dealing 25 damage to troops. Are oh, that's that sounds wonderful. Okay, okay. All friendly troops get hurt defense, so basically they go berserk, it's fury, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I move to target friendly ones. Okay, okay, okay. I I think we, we music it up. Uh 
I think I'm just gonna try to tank. Hope for the best. I, I don't think he does anything. I don't think he does anything. Big guy is slapping us pretty hard. We put you down. We get the blood boil on you. We buff everybody up. I mean, I could go for that. Yeah, I think I do. I think the uh, the song can lapse if need be. You stay in your tanky. Oh, you stay in your tanky form. All right, take a shot at you. Well, we definitely won this. And we said, good day, sir. Okay, I was, I was a little worried. That, that was looking a little scary. Oh, very, very, very happy. And we got all the spoils of war. We got a sharp sword, meh. Okay, we got the gloves of the wild hunt. Okay, that's exactly what we had before. Chain, hauberk, I think we have. And then the open-faced bassinet might be a stronger hit piece. We lost surprisingly few troops considering what we were against. As a defeated Baron was taken away in chains, Paradine and Cecilia gathered to assess the remaining Stoutheart forces. Paradine, take our forces afoot to Springhold, where Vilja prepares for Haman's invasion. The Baron will stand trial for his deeds at the next conclave of Barons. I will travel to Grey Tor and stop this corruption. At once, Cecilia, but Hamond was no friend to Loth, or Loth, excuse me. If we tell her about the undead, maybe she'll join forces with us against a common enemy. I fear Hamond's wounds may be too fresh. But you can try to sue for peace, good Paradine. I'm willing to return her traditional holdings in exchange for her oath and service against this new threat. Forgive me, Cecilia, but you risk offending Lady Hamond if you are not there for the negotiations. It's a risk that I must take. Loth was my vassal and my responsibility. Tell Lady Hamond if I do not stop this corruption, it could be the end for both of us. I trust in Vilia's axe to defend our lands and your heart, Paradine, to find peace for us all. Knights, to me, we ride! I leveled up, but I didn't get to level up. No, it ended the map. There was still stuff to do. All right, now, this is a small criticism on my part. And again, I don't know how often they're going to go to this type of uh, thing. Probably not that often, so it's fine. But I, I, I don't like that I wasn't able to clear the map and have, like, an end game objective. Like, go here to end the map or defeat this town or whatever the case is. We literally just had to wait around for enemies to come and attack us. And do that. I, I know that means we could have gotten more out of the map if we pushed further forward, but there was no way of knowing that that's exactly how that was going to go down. Um, I didn't love that. Again, if it's used sparingly, that's fine. It makes sense thematically and all that stuff. It's it's fine. I just, I hope that's not something that they do often. I hope there's like a, you do this, you end the map, so you can go and take your time to do everything else that you need to do before you go there. And I realize that even on maps where that's the case that you have an end result, you still may not be able to full clear the map because you have to push and take that. Otherwise, it's going to get overwhelming, right? Or you're struggling keeping, like, enemies in a, an area so you can explore the rest of the map. Like, there's there's problems no matter what happens, or there's potential problems no matter what happens. But, yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan of how that ended the map. And with there being no real indication or way of knowing what was going to happen, where the enemies were going to pop out, how many there were, and when the map was going to end. I just, not not the biggest fan of how that all went down. That, that's all. Again, it's it's okay. I just, I don't, I don't know if there's a better way of doing it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, folks. The treachery of Baron Aldous revealed a new enemy, with Cecilia's loyal troops ready to stand against the unseen society and the undead, no matter the odds. 
Victory, victory, victory. Oh, we get another song, right? Yeah, we do. Foul corruption met Cecilia with stout heart. Risen debt created by some magic black heart. Oh, yeah. The Baron said, was on its way. We should go reconcile with the She's so clearly that they've been misled. Won't kneel and stand. Crush the dead. Stout heart stands. That's how I would have ended that song. I think that would have been a, a great ending. Like all, all the stuff they did, and then just like the last line didn't have to rhyme with anything else just by itself. And Stout Heart Stands. Because like that was the thing. You know, Stout Heart Stands. And that's even what that's even your bard song with your character. It just makes sense. Just saying, add that to the game. Come on. Yeah, go get your guy to come back and sing that last line. Perfect. Anyway. <clears throat> Mission four. Death to diplomacy. Loth had brought an evil into the world, and as a vassal of Stoutheart, it was Cecilia's responsibility to stop them. She reinforced the towns of Hazelpoint and Oakhaven, and headed north through the Tenderwild, with the remainder of her forces hoping to draft troops from the settlements along the way. She was planning on attacking Greytor, Loth's capital, and the heart of their barony. Okay. I, I, I understand people like to turn off certain things. Like, uh, when I play a lot of tactical turn-based strategy games, um, I enjoy watching the animations, you know, like a, like a Disgaea or like the SD Gundam stuff. The animations are really cool. They're awesome to see, but they drag the speed of the game down, like, just dramatically, right? It's like every turn, oh, well, here's an animation that lasts 5, 10, 20, 30 seconds, right? It really slows you down. So I, I eventually like to see all of them once, or at least try to see all of them once, and then I turn it off, and then it does the quick battle. Here, this that doesn't really... Sure, you could say maybe 20, 30 minutes throughout the entire playthrough, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But I, I don't mind the uh, the final slow motion effect. I think that's kind of cool. It, it gives it a little bit of a special feel. I, I like it. But it is nice to see that they at least were like, I can see this annoying some people. We'll put an option in there to turn it off. Yeah, I appreciate that. The Thread of Law. After a desperate race through the tender... Well, sorry. Uh, after a desperate race through the tender wild, Cecilia's troops finally neared the edge of the forest in the barony of Loth. She had levied some troops along the way, but far fewer than she had hoped for. It would have to be enough. Loth must be stopped. Alright, guys and gals, this is a fantastic breaking point. Um, I do hope that we find ourselves a town and an ability to get more troops because we have no archers which is like our thing that we do however we do have knights which is nice to see uh and oh, let's do the level up before we, we leave command skill is at max good so we hit level 14 we can get more income and we can do the tutor thing it feels like it makes more sense to get it on her but I'm going to probably go with taxes for right now. Because I feel like there's probably better skills to get on her. I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's the best skill you can get on her. I don't know. Either way, folks, we begin mission four in the very next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm, I'm really enjoying the game a lot. Uh, Lava Potion, you guys have done a fantastic job. Any nitpick or criticism that I have, please take it as you know something where I'm hoping if other folks are in a group. Like, always check anything I say if I'm like, you should do this, or this is a better idea. Don't don't just be like, oh, of course, Bumpy, you're the greatest mind of all time. I mean, I might be, I'm not. Anyway, uh, always check like with your community. Just like put a thing somewhere and like in on Discord or in the community section on uh, Steam, and uh, let people discuss it and see. Maybe I'm crazy. It's very possible. Maybe it's something that I would like. 
So always, always run it by people. I always, I always say that anytime I put a suggestion out there or a criticism or this or that, just run it by the community. Don't just go, oh, well, I'm just gonna listen to that one random dude. Uh, but yeah, a- any criticism that I do make is hopefully for the betterment of the game. It's not to be like, oh, you guys are terrible and stupid and I hate you. Everybody's always quick to be negative and crappy and, and poop on games. I, I don't want to do that. I want to be like, oh, I didn't really like that as much. Maybe this, I always try to offer a solution as well. So again, I digress, but any criticism that I, I give, any nitpicks that I have are usually small things and it's hopefully for the betterment of everyone and the game. So don't take it to heart. Don't take it as me crapping on the game. So that's never the plan or the goal. Anyway, folks, I'm done. I'm out of here. Until the very next episode, uh, Headache Bumpy McSquiggums. I've been your host. Thanks for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. (laughs) 